The Interstate Motorway Kit consists of two 72 to 116 inch long shores, two 48 to 73 inch long shores, two 36 to 50 inch long shores, three 24 inch extensions, three 48 inch extensions, six 12 inch hinge bases with anchor ring, four contour bases, four V bases, four multi heads, four tie down keys, two 20 foot grade 100 chains, six ratchet belts, two ground pads. Okay, we're here with a heavy vehicle versus a light vehicle. With the Interstate Motorway Kit, we can stabilize the heavy vehicle. The heavy vehicle is resting on the small one. First, we want to come in and stop the crush of the heavy vehicle so it doesn't sink any further into the smaller vehicle. We're going to chalk the wheels, chalk the suspension, and come in and do the stabilization of the heavy vehicle. Okay, large vehicle versus small vehicle. The procedure we're going to use to stabilize both vehicles First thing that's going to go in is the stop the crush strut. That's this strut here. It's 36 inches to 50 inches. Second thing that's going to go in is going to be your stabilization strut. Your 72 to 116 is going to attach to your chain, stabilize the tank. Next thing, we're going to stabilize the car with a 25 to 36 extension and the ratchet belt on the car. Okay, first thing, come in on the tank. I'll put the longshore nearly vertical to stop the crush on the big vehicle over the small one. Then I'll come in with a stabilization of the big vehicle. I'm going to bring in the chain. Take the slack out of the chain. You're going to stake the base. Stakes should be driven in two thirds of the way for demo purposes. I'm just going to take them in about six to eight inches. Make sure my stabilization is tight. Then going to set up to stabilize the car. First, what I'm going to do is tie the suspension down on the car, attach in the ratchet strap, attach to the top of the wheel, insert your four by four, take out the slack, and you're going to ratchet the suspension down. What the 4x4 does, it keeps the belt off of the glass. That way, the belt will not get cut by broken glass. Or if the glass is intact in the back, the belt will not pressurize and break the glass unexpectedly. Now the tank is stabilized, I can come under the tank. Then we'll do the same in the front and tie the suspension down on the car. So the car actually stays as low as it can to the ground. I'm going to feed some belt out. I don't need to use the crib in on this side. Now the car is down. Then we're going to set up the vehicle stabilization on the back of this car. The suspension is all tied down. I'm going to come in with the, the Halligan tool, make the purchase, bend the metal out, then set up for my stabilization. One foot extension, strut and base. And then bring it into the hole. Ratchet it down to attach the strap. Tighten up the strap. Okay, that's good. Car is stabilized. There, you have it. I'm Nigel Leatherby with Paratech. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. If you want to see more, please like or subscribe. <laughs>